just gotta say you look very amazing tonight. Thank you. Like Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back to this spooky, scary edition of the Trash Loot. Ooh. Okay, no, I won't. I won't put on the mask. I must. Yeah. No. No, I won't. 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 I must. Uh. I'm Callie, and I just rewatched every Final Destination movie. So, <laughs> yeah, I am a pillar of anxiety. One of the scariest things that can happen is when someone you thought was perfect starts to reveal their flaws, the cracks in their china, the thorns nestled beneath who you thought they were, the cuts on their skin. I'm out of metaphors, but I'm clearly talking about Miss Honey here. I mean, God, does this woman love teaching in basketball? And of course, I'm not saying these interests are flaws. I mean, we all have interests. Mine right now happens to be Jason Sudeikis' dating history. But it seems that these interests have almost possessed Miss Honey in a way that's holding her back. Exorcist style, boom, Halloween episode. Let me explain. Our first group date of the season is a classic back to school date, and Miss Honey gives the group date rose to the one guy who can't spell protein. Like, tell me you weren't in a fraternity without telling me you weren't in a fraternity. But like, she's clearly very used to being the smart one in the relationship, the caretaker, the teacher. I mean, it's who she is at work, and she flat out said later in the episode that this is who she is in relationships too. It's definitely Miss Honey's comfort zone, so I'm just hoping throughout the season she can explore different types of relationships, you know? Like, think outside the bun. This is also exactly the case with the basketball group date. Like, yeah, she's from Minnesota. She's played basketball her whole life. And she gives the group date rose to, gasp, someone else from Minnesota who's played basketball all his life. He was named Minnesota Mr. Basketball. Like, we get it. You have a lot in common. You could talk about dribbling and Michael Jordan and um, Lola Bunny. But girl, you DM'd with this guy before the show started and he ghosted you. Ooh, ghost, Halloween episode. Miss Honey seems to be focusing on the wrong things and staying in her comfort zone instead of, you know, dating guys who respond to messages and can spell words. With all this being said though, I want to be totally clear. I stan Miss Honey. I still think she's going to be the best bachelorette in recent history, but that's also not saying a lot since our last bachelorette is clearly obsessed over telling this one story about how she shit her pants. No, 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 too scary, too scary, too scary for this video. We also get a one-on-one -on -one with director of Joker, Todd Phillips, and he opens up about his mom's suicide. And damn, I lost it at Miss Honey's response. Like, you guys, we finally have a bachelorette who's empathetic and who listens and responds to people accordingly. It's just, ugh, I love her. Oh, oh, and we have the same shorts. 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 My winner of the week is Rodney for having the same job title as the guys in Workaholics and living in the city it was based in. What he's trying to tell you is that you are looking at Rancho Cucamonga's premier clown troupe. My loser of the week is, you guessed it, all of us because the hottest guy sent home. So what the f is the point? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh my god, oh my god, we didn't even talk about criminy. Criminy. Yo. Criminy? Criminy a river? I have never heard this psychotic, cartoonish word in my life, and I just 
could not get over how she just casually said this. Like, what if after 40 plus years of not talking in the last Halloween movie, Michael Myers is just on his deathbed and is like, 